Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to another partial unboxing review and, and how to set up your pH tester. I have the ATC pH tester. I pH my water for my aquarium and also for my plant. Now, usually when you buy these, they will come with a solution in a little package here. It's already pH to 6.86 and that's how you set up your tester. It's got a little adjustment screw right there and it also comes with a screwdriver with the kit. I think this was around $15, $18. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to calibrate it per the manufacturer's instructions with their, their pre-pHed package here. And what you do is you pour that into a little glass of water with about maybe that much water, maybe the quarter of your glass. You don't want it too deep because you can't submerge this beyond the line there because it'll uh, damage the, the meter. So usually you want it to come right about there water level wise. And that's your little sensor right there. So as long as that little sensor there is submerged, you'll be able to go ahead and get your reading for your pH. So I'm going to do this two ways now. We'll go ahead and we'll put this in the solution. And right now it just came up to 6.5. It's at 6.5. So according to this little package here, it's pH at 6.86. Now you're going to want your ambient temperature around at least 70, 75 degrees when you go ahead and do your, your water. You don't want it too cold. So we'll go in and we'll adjust it right there on the back. Put your little screwdriver right there. And we'll leave it in the solution. And as we go clockwise, it's starting to climb. So there's 6.8. This is plus or minus a little bit. It doesn't give you as fine adjustment as 0.86. So we'll just maybe just tweak it up a little bit. And there you go, it's 6.8. And I'll bring that up here. And there you go. You can see it says now 6.8. So that's how you adjust your pH tester. Now what if you don't have this solution here that comes with a package or you ran out, but you want to check these periodically to make sure that they haven't moved on you. This is the one I have, the pH 2016. I imagine it's just a pH indicator in 2016, something fancy they put on there for year 2016. Of course we're in 2018 right now, but they're, they're all the same. They're not going to change much. And then there's a scale right there for your your actual pH. Like you would have for um like you would have for like an aquarium or something like that. There's a scale from alkalinity to acidity. So what if you didn't have one of these packets? You used it up? How are you going to pH test this? According to the internet. Baking soda has a pH property of 9.0. So I'm just curious. Put a tablespoon of this into just a little bit of water if we can use this for pH solution. So let's go ahead and try it. So I've got a box of Arm & Hammer baking soda. I'm gonna go ahead and take, I don't think it really matters how much because if it's all pH at 9.0, you couldn't put too much or too little in there. I wouldn't think. There's about a tablespoon. And we'll put that in there. And we'll stir that up. Make sure you use at least like a lukewarm water. You don't want it too cold. So that it'll break that baking soda down. So make sure you clean your contacts off all the time. So I'll go clean them. And we'll put it into our baking soda. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've checked the pH of the baking soda. And there you go, 9.0. Now one thing to keep in mind when you do go ahead and try this baking soda method, make sure you get a nice fresh box. Don't use one that's been in your refrigerator or in your closet for a long period of time because I'm not really sure whether the pH would stay the same or not. It may drop off. I'm not really sure. I'm not a uh, chemical guy, but I would go with a fresh box. These aren't that expensive and uh, you can use them for other stuff. It's another way of going ahead and checking your pH on your tester. You can always do the old-fashioned way with the uh, aquarium test kits to double check all that and you can check your pH in 
by using a pH indicator with your test tube. These are pretty cheap. You can pick them up. And then once you get this set in your glass at a pH you can test with, if you're happy with the colors, I'm not that great with colors. Once you get it to like a 6.6 .6 or a 6.8 in this like green section here in your water, Then go ahead and put your tester in there and then just go ahead and adjust it with your screwdriver. So I hope that helps everybody out. So that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and links for anything that I show will be at the bottom of the description on YouTube. See ya.